Looking for magic cards? At flipsidegaming.com you can now use the promo code LVD to get a 10% discount on orders over $10 while supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another Magic Arena gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at another historic deck called Second Degree Burn as we built around one of the other anthology cards. Second Right, a 4 mana instant, saying if target player has exactly 10 life, Second Right deals 10 damage to that player so we can win the game on the spot. And the deck is basically just a mono red burn deck. We've got a few cards that maybe you won't see in typical burn decks just because they play so well with Second Right. For example, at 1 mana, we're playing the full playset of Spears Pure, 1 mana for an 0-2 defender, and we can tap Spears Pure to deal 1 damage to each player. Gives us a lot of control over the opponent's life total, so if we have an uneven amount of damage, we can kind of even it out with the Spears Pure to make sure that the Second Right can uh, kill the opponent. So let's take a quick look at the entire list. At 1 mana we also have the full playset of Fanatical Firebrand. 1 mana 1-1 one, one haste can sacrifice it to deal 1 damage to any target. So it can maybe take out an early mana creature from the opponent. And the cool thing about building around second right is that we don't have to point every single burn spell at the opponent's face. We can also afford to play more of our burn spells killing the opponent's creatures and interacting. And then uh, we don't need to deal as much damage to eventually win the game with a second right. So the deck usually plays out a little bit more controllingly. But of course we're very capable of just winning on turn 4 if we draw some cheap burn spells and then close out the game with a second right. Then we also have the full playset of Shock, another way to interact early or just to use it as a burn spell. Great enabler for Spectacle as well. Then we've got the full playset of Electrostatic Fields, 2 mana for an 0-4 defender. Also helps us play defense while helping us deal more damage to the opponent incidentally. As whenever we cast an instant or sorcery spell, field deals 1 damage to each opponent. And very important to point out, if we have Electrostatic Field in play and are about to cast a second right, our opponent needs to be at 11 life for second right to kill them, as the trigger from Electrostatic Field will resolve first, and then the opponent will be at 10 for second right to actually win the game. Then we also have the full playset of Lightning Strike, more cheap, efficient burn spells. We also have the full playset of Thrill of Possibility, a card that you also won't see in a typical burn deck, just because if we do draw multiple copies of second right, of course those aren't too useful, so we can use Thrill to get rid of them and draw more action. And uh, we are also playing 20 lands, which is maybe more than some burn decks would play. So we can always uh, discard additional lands to find more action as well. And then at 3 mana we've got the full playset of Chain Warlord, just too good not to play. Also deals 1 damage, so it can also help us even out the opponent's life total to set up for the second right. And just gives us a nice board presence to maybe pressure opposing planeswalkers with, or just help us get the first 10 points of damage. Of course every now and then we're not going to draw the second right, and we just have to win the game the old-fashioned way, and having a few creatures to attack them with can definitely help there. And then we have the usual spectacle cards to round out the deck. The full playset of Light of the Stage as a nice 1 mana draw 2 for the most part. And the full playset of Skewer the Critics as a 1 mana deal 3 as long as we can enable spectacle. And then the mana base, 20 basic mountains. We could potentially play a couple Castle Emberths but we barely have any creatures so we won't really benefit from it. But of course every now and then you might pump up a Chain Warlord to get in one extra point of damage which can definitely matter. But this way we keep the mana base nice and simple and budget friendly as well. So yeah, that's the deck. Now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the play and this hand has potential. We've got the second right. But uh, the problem is we only have one land. We do have double light with the stage which can help us find more lands and Spear Spear is a reasonable enabler. So for a one lander this hand is actually decent so I think we'll try it. And we'll lead with the Spear Spear. Light of the stage can be a little bit awkward with second right if you find it early and you're not ready to play it on the following turn. So we usually want to wait as long as possible to cast it, drawing second, second right here, not uh, ideal, but uh, maybe if my opponent has counter spells we can uh, get the first one countered and resolve the second one. Alright, land is good. And... Uh, I could just cure the critics, my opponents. It's probably fine. Fay of Wishes as a 1 4. That's acceptable. So again, I can go digging with Light of the Stage to make sure I keep hitting my land drops. We shouldn't have difficulty getting my opponent to 10 with the tools we have between Double Shock and Spear Spear. So I don't think we need Electrostatic Field here. I 
All right, more lands, that's good. And we'll play the field anyway, I guess. And with the Spears Pure, we should have no difficulty getting the opponents to a life total where they're dead to a second right. Gift of Paradise, right? Opponent gains three. So this might be the Flood of Tears Omniscience combo deck, which uh, of course can have a bunch of Gift of Paradise, maybe Golden Egg to gain life. All right, so what are we doing? We drew another Light of the Stage. Could use that. If we find a land, I can also play the Chain Whirler. Seems okay. And there's two lands, perfect. So next turn, I can deal one with Spear Spear. The shock is three. So then we put our point to 11, and then second right with field in place, lethal. So if they don't gain life, or interact in any meaningful way, we could kill them. Temple Scry to the bottom. And another Gift of Paradise. Alright, so probably won't be able to kill them next turn here. Another Chain Warlord though, that's decent since that gets rid of the Fae of Wishes. And uh, they could use the ability to save it, but that's fine by me. So we'll send in Chain Warlord here. Potent takes it. Alright, I mean, if they're taking it, then they are dead, because this is 3, 4, 11. So, yeah, let's go for it. And my opponent explodes, nice. So kept one lander, but uh, yeah. Light of the stage is one hell of a card. On to the next one. All right, we're on the draw. Yeah, hand seems okay. Uh, no second right, so that's definitely one of the cards we're looking for. <laughs> Speak of the devil. All right, all right. Let's get in for one. And now we just need to hit our land drops, and we should be okay. Paradise Roots, we can kill at the moment. There's our land, though. Let's get in. Could see a questing beast here. Which we can kill. The Rhythm of the Wild instead, fair enough. So scary things could be happening next turn, hasty Ilhargs come to mind. But uh, yeah, we just gotta try and kill them before that happens. So we'll just go Lightning Strike to the face. Maximize our chances of actually killing them next turn. So if I attack with Firebrand, presumably they take it. I can Spectacle Skewer and then still cast a Thrill. Which would put them to 11, and then next turn we can sack Firebrand, put them to 10, and hopefully we'll have drawn the 4th land for... Uh, second right with the thrill. So let's do that. So hopefully no hasty Ilharks into Palaka Worms. It's gonna be Marauding Raptor instead. And Lava Coil, my Firebrand. Well, that's a bit of a bummer, since we needed that one damage to get them to 10. Alright, I guess we'll need to thrill into one damage somewhere. I guess we'll discard Shock. Another second right. And a Spear Spear. Alright, that might do it. Well, we would have had to kill if it weren't for that uh, lava coil. So hopefully the Spear Spear can survive a turn. 
Ravager Worm. Uh oh, I think that's gonna kill my Spear Spear here. Alright, so we're still uh, waiting to find that one point of damage. And we're taking 8 here, so we could be dead before that happens. Lightning Strike can kill Paradise Druids, I suppose. Or I could hold it in case we need to just deal 11, but I don't think that's happening. Yeah, let's just kill Paradise Druid. Mountain. Alright, so if we draw Firebrand next turn, we can still get there. Yeah, back-to-back -back removal spells was a bit unfortunate. Grumguli. Alright, I think it's uh, Firebrand or Bust at this point. Let's go. <laughs> nice. Well, it is satisfying when it happens. And it happens more often than you would think. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. Hands not particularly exciting, but probably still keepable. Facing steam vents into mountain. All right. Hopefully no sweepers next turn. Stolen by the Fae bouncing my Spear Spear, making a 1-1 token. Alright, it's not bad. I guess I just attack into it. Could use a burn spell if I think this is going to end up dealing more damage in the long term. We're also getting to the point where I'm probably going to get my opponent below 10 life. And then second rights are not going to be too useful anymore if we draw them later. But uh, it currently doesn't look like we're going to have one. So I'm going to hold on to these uh, lightning strikes for as long as possible. Maybe take one or two more draw steps, see if we find the second rights before deciding whether to burn the opponent or uh, maybe hold them. Ooh, Fires of Invention, alright. That's a scary card. So could see Cavaliers next turn. Another Firebrand, I mean I do have 9 points of burn in hand. So we could just get there the old fashioned way. Another stolen by the Fae. Put him to 10. Second fires doesn't do a whole lot. Alright, I don't think I fire off the lightning strike yet. Give myself the chance of drawing second right. And uh, I guess now we just keep attacking. Probably keep land in hand in case of thrill of possibility, even though that means I can double lightning strike here. Iron crank feats. Alright, what are we playing here? Points got a million mana. Eleven to be exact. Could see Cavalier plus use the ability a bunch. Maybe something bigger. Bane fire for ten. Okay. Well it's kind of like a reverse second right here. Now 
All right, not uh, very exciting draw steps. I guess it's okay to play land now in case of needing extra mana after, who knows, like a thrill or a light of the stage. Cliffs gains one. Could definitely matter. So end of turn we can put them to five. And if they don't interact, I guess we can kill them. All right. I guess there's no reason to wait here. Opponent can cast spells at instant speed with the Fires of Invention. So this should be safe. All right, well, we... Didn't have a super exciting draw, but our opponent playing a more controlling deck with not a ton of board presence. We were able to get there with our Firebrands and our Spear Spewer. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play, and this hand is looking quite good. A nice selection of early plays, and then a second right, hopefully, to finish off an opponent at 10 life. All right, turn one elf. Yeah, I mean, could just keep it in play for a turn and chain warlord it. It's maybe okay. And then for now, just attack for one, which they could decide to block, given that I didn't kill the elf, but... Uh, just uh, secure their face. And then chain warlord puts him to 14, shock to 12, firebrand to 11. So I still need one damage somewhere. Ooh, this Chain is going to be juicy. So I'm going to hold on to the shock for now. I guess I could also just Chain Warlord them to 10. I guess that's fine. And then light the stage, try and find a land for next turn. Alright, that'll do it. Opponent sees the second right, they're at 10. So I guess they can shock themselves to maybe get out of it. But nope, opponent explodes. Sweet. Well, Chain Warlord is also a pretty powerful card as it turns out. All right, we're on the draw. Second right in hand. A bit light on actual uh, instants and sorceries to go with the fields, but uh, the deck has plenty of those, so we'll try it. Could it be the burn mirror match? Well, second right is pretty awkward against an opposing burn deck, as they can just point burn spells at their own face to not die to the second right, so we have to catch them tapped out, basically. Yeah, I guess we'll uh, just kill Steamkin and play Fields. Opponent could also have their own Chain Warlord next turn, which would kill my Firebrand anyway. Pyromancer we can block. So how about we just go double fields and then uh, play a Spears Pure. Could have also gone for Firebrands, which can maybe kill the Pyromancer in case they will finish off my field if I block with it. Ooh, Torbran. Torbran's a very scary card too. Yeah, we'll take uh, four, I guess. So how does Torbran interact with my Spear Spewers? It doesn't do any extra damage since they don't control the red source. Good to know. Alright, so I guess we're pretty much forced to deal with Torbran. I could just Firebrand plus Lightning Strike Torbran. Could let Torbran stay in play and deal with the Pyromancer and keep Lightning Strike to go face. We're definitely close to killing the opponent here as well. Lightning Strike is essentially 5 damage, uh, and we only need to get them to 12. So 5 puts them to 14, Spear Spear to 13, 
and then next turn untap Spear Spear or second right if we draw the land, but we're not guaranteed to draw the land this issue. I guess we can maybe play it slower. If I let my opponent untap with Torbran, they could have burn spells that deal extra damage thanks to Torbran. If they have a second Torbran, killing it here of course is not great, but I think I'll take the risk. And pass, and I don't know yet if we're activating Spear Spear or not. And yep, that's what I was afraid of, second Torbran. Alright, so that did not work out. Could jump with the Spear Spewer, but I think I'm okay going to 10. And then do I put them to 16? I think I do. Another second ride, not too useful here. Ouch, Chain Warlord deals 3 damage to everything, so I'm gonna go to 6, and then Torbrand deals 4, Pyromancer deals 4. I'll have to jump with the fields. Don't really see how we recover from that. Yeah, the second Torbrand was um, a little bit too much for us to handle. A Lava Runner, although it's not hasty. So, gotta chump one. And a Secure the Critics is uh, not gonna cut it. Alright, GG's. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play. Uh, hands not amazing, but probably still keepable. We've got some interaction. Thrill to maybe go digging, field to both protect our life total and provide some incidental burn. And then uh, we're well set up to maybe win with a second right if we can find one. Turn one islands. Ooh, nice, there's a second right. Let's see what we're up against. The blue green. Silvergill. Alright, up against Merfolk, it looks like. It works for me. They shouldn't have too much in the way of interaction. Maybe a couple counter spells. But that's about it. Um, so for now. Can I kill my opponent next turn? So this is three, this is four. So we've got seven points. So we're not quite there yet. But um, I guess we're also not in a hurry. Don't know if I want to discard land to the Thrill of Possibility. Because we might need it for the second right. So I'll probably just burn my opponent for a bunch. End of turn and then um, see what we draw for the turn. If we draw land we can Thrill discarding land. Might have to be a little bit careful with the electrostatic field in play that we don't get our opponent below 10 life. Weaver, sure. Don't think this hand is interested in burning their creatures, as we might not have the tools to then get across the finish line. Another lands, so I can safely thrill here. It's going to put my opponent to 12. So we'll need to find a one damage effect, either Chain Warlord, Firebrand, or a Spear Spewer to get the job done. Or I guess just cast a non burn spell with field in play, so it shouldn't be too difficult here. A Lightning Strike. Alright, so I guess we'll just Lightning Strike one of their creatures. Put them to 11, untap, and then second rights. So just want them to tap out, basically. I'll take the four. Blink of an eye, my electrostatic fields. 
But I probably still want to lightning strike their creature here. Another field. Can only afford to play one of them. Opponent sure looks like they have uh, an instant in hand here. I guess I could play around Spell Pierce if I draw another land. And then I can pay for it. A reason to keep it if we draw another Thrill. But I guess we'll run it out. And it's gonna be a Trickster. Can remove the ability from field, but if we cast second right with field in play, the trigger is going to go in the stack, and the trickster is not going to be able to stop it. Herald, that's all fine, so take four, and second right should do the job. Bam! On to the next one. All right, we're on the play, and uh, this hand has potential. We've got some burn spells second right, but only one land, of course, is the issue. And Thrill is two mana before we can cycle it. I think we're probably better off uh, taking a mulligan. All right, this seems okay. Can put one land on the bottom, and then Fields is also decent at enabling Spectacle for line of the stage, potentially. Well, let's see what we're up against. Tab breathing pool. Ooh, there's our second right, so now we're in business. So I can shock them and then play light up the stage. Seems okay. Opponent could be on a blue-green flash counterspell type deck, which could be tough. Although second right is an instant, so that's useful. This might get countered. Right, spear and shock, so we'll get the spear out there. Could get essence scattered. Cut throw it instead. Alright. So blue green flash confirmed. Uh yeah, not sure what can go wrong here. Alright, so gotta make sure to use a shock before it goes away. Think I'm okay killing cutthroats just to keep it under control. And, I mean, we could have a lethal next turn. Lightning Strike is for damage. Do they have another one mana instant here? An opt. Ah, that's unfortunate. So the first Cutthroat is going to become a 4-3, uh, so it doesn't die to the shock. So do I still want a Lightning Strike them, or do I want to kill the Cutthroats? If they tap out for, like, an Ambusher end of turn, we could be fine. So I think I'm okay lightning striking them. Alright, we'll pass. And we don't even have to use a Spear Spear anymore since our opponent's at 11 with the field in play. So the hope here is that they... Um, will tap out for some 4 mana play, and then the second right kills them. Well, we've got two. Problem is, the field will still trigger, so I need to chump with the field to try the second, second right. Opponent is fetching. We'll let that happen. Nightpack Ambusher meets second right. 
Bam. All right, sweet. Well, if the opponent doesn't uh, expect to face second right, you can definitely get some free wins with it, as opposed to maybe a regular mono red deck. It does have its advantages and disadvantages. Sometimes you draw it early and it just kind of sits in your hand doing nothing. Sometimes you find it off spectacle and you don't have the opponent at 10, so it's kind of useless. But uh, overall, I've been pretty impressed by the card second right in kind of this burn shell. And uh, it's pretty cheap to build this deck as well. So if you're looking for a budget historic deck, this is definitely recommended. That's going to be it for me today. I want to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.